Hi, this is Tracy Tokahama Espinosa. Thanks for the opportunity to talk to you a little bit about mind brain education and getting rid of neural myths in teacher practices. The brain has unlimited capacity for memory. Unfortunately, the brain is a physical entity, so it is uh, it has a physical limit to it, though we don't know exactly what that is. Memorization is unnecessary for learning and unwanted in modern education. Memory is needed for learning. What we don't want is people memorizing, for example, the times table or grammatical rules without context. Then it's, it's not transferable. You can't use it in a new context. So memorization is vital for learning. What we don't want, though, are just memoristic activities. The brain remembers everything it has ever experienced. Forgetting is due to bad encoding. While forgetting might be, in some cases, due to bad encoding, forgetting can also be due to multiple other factors. There are multiple reasons people forget and multiple ways that people can remember. And so it's not as easy as just what is memory. There are multiple subsets of memory that teachers need to be aware of as well. Learning can be isolated from the social and emotional context. Myth. All learning is emotionally engaging, so every decision is based on an emotional context as well. Reasoning and decision making can be divorced from emotion and feeling, and in doing so, this improves the quality of thought. Not true. The emotion will still be experienced. The way you feel that emotion is something that you can manipulate, but you cannot change the emotion, which is based on chemical releases from the brain to the body. Those things will not change. Languages are located in the left hemisphere of the brain. Absolutely wrong. In fact, there's huge networks that have to do with um, humor interpretation, intonation, that are far more right hemisphere uh, dependent. So this is just not true. It's not that there's a left and right division of responsibilities for domain areas like language. Children must acquire their native language first before learning a second language. Absolutely not true. And I have living proof in my three children who were brought up with four languages. You can learn multiple languages at the same time. Children are sponges and learn foreign languages effortlessly. Believe it or not, it takes a whole lot of effort to learn language. We just think, relatively speaking, it seems like less effort than we put into learning languages. So, but it is not an effortless task. It does take a lot of energy out of those Not kids. an effortless task.